Hey guys, check it out. Xbox here, of course. Something a little new. I'm in the video this time. But anyway, um, a lot of you guys were asking me about Diablo 3. You know, where I'm at, what characters am I using, how close am I to Paragon level 100. So I'm just showing you these as steps that I've taken. I think the last time I showed you guys um, where I was currently at with my monk, I think I was at uh, Paragon level 74, 75. I'm getting close to 100. I'm at 87 now, as you guys can see. But Man, I'm telling you, to get to 100, it's going to definitely take a while, but I got a pretty good uh, rotation that I've been doing. So, nonetheless, here we go. So, let's check it out. Uh, you guys can take a quick look at my monk and what his build is here. You guys can see I got a ton of these uh, legendaries, and I'll show you guys those here in a second. But again, I'm level 87. Uh, I'm trying to really focus on sort of a tanky slash DPS monk. I've tried the whole critical build um, glass cannon type, but it just doesn't really work well. Uh, especially going with say like monster power 2 or monster power 3 if you don't kill those elite mobs really really quick you're just going to get one hit maybe even two hit by a lot of the mobs so i've noticed that i can pretty much go on monster power 2 absolutely no problem monster power 3 and 4 i have to get uh, a little bit better of gloves as well as bracers because they're not really up to par with uh, monster power 3 and 4 especially if i'm running solo so I'm going to hover over some of my items so you guys can check it out. Definitely watch this in HD if you guys haven't already. So I don't think that my main hand and off hand have really changed all that much. So you guys can check them out here. I did change to Natalia's Bloody Footprints because, of course, they're just a, a flat-out good item. I used to have the Inya's, uh, I think that's how you say it, Inya's, Inya's set for the boots, but they just didn't provide the dex as well as the all resist that I was looking for. Because you definitely need a lot of all resist, especially for the fire and the poison in uh, uh, if you're doing any of the monster power levels, because that's just ridiculous, right? So of course we have the Fist of Azar Tarask, however you say it. Definitely a very good item. I'd recommend this, as well as another item maybe that gives you life on hit or some type of percentage back on hit. Of course the Oculus Ring, if that's how you guys say it. Flat out good item. Um, I would hope that the 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 magical find the 17 percent i'm hoping that was that wouldn't be on there and i would get a better stat but the armor the vit the dex and the all resist you, you can't go wrong i think i paid um i don't know maybe 15 mil for these somewhere right in there of course got india's temperance not bad now some of you guys are probably asking man why do you have this ring well look at the dex look at the all resist look at the regenerate life look at the crit hit now the regenerate life per second you guys is going to be huge when uh pvp comes out if you can get a lot of life per second, just think about it. You're regenerating a thousand life per second. Yeah, it's going to be pretty good. So I'm sort of hoarding a bunch of those items waiting for that PvP patch to come out. Of course, you guys can check out my belt here. Not bad. I know my bracers. I've had these for a long time, and I'm looking to probably trade them out here uh, fairly soon. Of course, you guys can check out my chest. This is okay. I mean, it's good, but of course, I want to get a better one. I just I can't afford everything all at one time, right? My bracers, pretty much these three are sort of what I'm lacking right now. Of course, last time that you guys viewed this, I didn't have a Vile Ward, but this Vile Ward is definitely good. The gen Regenerate Life, uh, 311 per second is crazy. The Dex, the Vit, the Resist All. Um, these, I know when the PvP patch comes out, are probably going to be double in price. So I'm going to try to either sell them and look for something better or if something else is in the game that I'm not aware of. Of course, Inya's Radiance. I had to grab this, of course, and throw the life socket in on for the gem because, uh, yeah, you just you just flat out need it, especially for a monk. Then, you know, this is sort of again, it's okay. The Dex, the all resist, the attack, the the life, it's all right. It's just again where I'm currently at. I know my monk can be a lot better, so I can do monster power three or four. But right now, monster power two on act two. Whoa, <laughs> monster power two on. Uh, act 2 doing like the Sands and the uh, both of those, um, I forgot what they were, like the Vault of the Assassin. Both of those are really, really good runs because they have a lot of uh, elite mobs in there and you can clean them up pretty quick. And I've noticed, especially as you get, of course, in a higher uh, Paragon level and you get like a passive 250 Magic Find and 250 Gold Find, it's crazy. You start getting a ton of good drops. In the beginning, I was getting okay drops, right? A lot of good legendaries, some set pieces. They were all right, but um, most of it I would sell. But now I've been noticing I've been getting stuff that actually is worthwhile, right? So I mean, stuff that you guys would want to keep. And just today I went ahead and I got this drop right here. This is only playing for about an hour and a half, maybe a you know hour here and there. But a bunch of this stuff I'm going to throw up on the auction house. Again, you guys can look at all this stuff uh, in HD. 
Some of it's alright, some of it's like laze, you know, under the skull grasp. I was using it. Um, actually, I'll show you guys my barbarian here that I've been using. I've been going crazy uh, life on hit to try to see <laughs> to see where I'd be at. So you guys can see this one's pretty crazy, almost 1,200 life per hit on that one. And this is all the stuff I'm going to sell, but I also have the stuff that I want to keep, right? So I know a lot of you subs out there, if you guys want to go ahead and grind some of these good these good items with me, look, I'll give you some items, right? I got a ton of stuff, and I'd rather give it to some of my uh, dedicated subs out there. Even if you guys don't play with me all the time, and you guys just want to grind out a few levels, beat Diablo a few times, whatever, by all means, man, hit me up. I'll see what I got for your class, and I'm pretty sure it's probably better than some of the stuff you might have, or better than you grinding a bunch of uh, you know levels and, and gear. So you guys can check these out. Anybody needs them, let me know. The Sky Cutter, I only kept this because uh, it summons that angelic uh, angel dude, and it's sort of cool, but other than that, the, the attack speed stuff's sort of weak. But I got a bunch of set stuff here. Scorn, this thing is, of course, just flat out ridiculous, especially if you put a socket in it. Uh, these the, these two sets of the uh, that are used on a Barbarian, this is actually what I use on my Barb. I'll show you guys here in a second. I think I have over 2,000 life per hit, so it's pretty nuts. This Wind Force... I would have sold this on the auction house, but I kept it because it has almost a 50% chance to knock back enemies on hit, which is ridiculous. So um, you can see that my uh, my Demon Hunter is only level 15. I just haven't had time to uh, to boost him up. Immortal King's Boulder Breaker. This thing is nuts. Look at that. Almost 500 uh, strength. I actually had the, uh, the whole Immortal King set on my barb, but this was okay, but I ended up switching it up to the uh, two one-handers, which I'll show you guys here in a second. I got two Natalia's Embraces here, which are okay. They're not going to sell for a lot, but I got both of these to drop in the same day, which is pretty nuts. Uh, Thunder God's Vigor. I like this because you almost have a 50% chance uh, for the Shock Pulse to erupt from when enemies hit you. So when you're a Barb, it is nuts. If you guys, uh, I'll probably make a few videos when some of these weird sort of effects, because they're actually sort of cool. Of course, a lot of set pieces. This Death Watch Mantle. This is pretty good. I'm probably going to throw it on the Auction House. And of course, my Storm Shield. I got a bunch of stuff on the Auction House now. Uh, if you guys are curious, you know, Stormcrow, I think it's one of the first ones I get. This is actually really, really good, uh, especially for a wizard. Let's go down here. I just picked one of these up here. It was worse than the one that I had, so of course I'm going to go ahead and throw it up. Of course, I got a Storm Shield, which was okay. Um, no, actually, this one, sorry, is actually pretty good. <laughs> but it wasn't as good as the Storm Shield that, uh, that I was previously looking at because this didn't have a socket. If this had a socket, I would definitely go for this one. All right, so... You guys took a look at uh, sort of what my monk looks like. Let's take a quick look at my barb now. So again, he's only Paragon level 6. I'm going to wait to level this one up until I get my monk to 100. Maybe in the next 30 days I'll get him up to 100. It's really tough because it's, you know, it's like 220 million XP to level him up. So it definitely takes a while. But you guys can look at my uh, guy here. So these bull Kathos <laughs> uh, set here. Look at this. This thing gives you 732 life on hit. That is nuts. So then I went ahead and picked up this one, so I'll get the additional 130 strength with the five, with the five uh, Max Fury and the occasional Whirlwind, which is actually sort of cool effect. And it's cool. Again, uh, you know, my guy is, is pretty crazy. Let me see if I can go ahead and uh, switch him out here so you guys can see some stats on him. And I'll show you guys the actual quest one that I do here. I do this one right here. I'm on, and right now I'm doing on Monster Power 1 for my Barb because he needs a few more items. So we'll go ahead and start here. He just needs a few more items to really be super effective. See, look at the effect right here. You guys see that? That's <laughs> nuts. So, check out, the, check this out. So, almost 50k health. Uh, if I, if I run this, uh, what am I? Almost 14k armor, which is which is not bad. Uh, life per hit, almost 2200. Life steal is almost at six percent, and uh, almost 700 life per second. So, my barb just continuously gains life every time he's hit. He's gaining life. Um, he has okay resist, right? These are a little bit low, but the sheer fact that I gain so much life and uh, uh, and and tick it back on each second is ridiculous, right? So you guys can see, you guys can hear the uh, the effect going again. <laughs> so here's my two items. You guys can check it out. The Immortal King Stride. I used again used to have the Boulder Breaker, but I took it off because I wanted to run these double. Uh, Blackthorn's Jousting Mail. I just put this on here because I was running, I think, like Depth Diggers or something like that. And I like this one, again, because it gave me the strength, gave me the vit, gave me the life on hit, and the 12% life, uh, which is pretty nuts. Again, this is the same ring that I have on my monk, but this one's more geared toward a barb. 
Of course, Unity, which is, uh, which is always a good item, right? Another 321 life on hit. <laughs> so you guys can check this all out here. And you guys can see where I'm at. So that's it, guys. I mean, again, this is a quick overview of where I'm currently at. I'm still going to grind away. I know I am probably in the top 5% of the monks that are out there. I'm still way below on the barbs, right? Everybody's running the barbs. So um, who knows? Maybe uh, I'll grind away and try to get to level 100 Paragon as fast as I can. But 87 is, uh, and all the levels after, man, are just super difficult. 220 you know, million XP to level up. So there you go, guys. Definitely subscribe if you guys haven't already. And thanks again.